All right. That was really bad. So this one is going to make these more difficult. We are going to be changing the first number, and we're going to be adding a few new complexities to it. You did number six. It, I did not do number six. It is not going to be insanely more difficult. I need to know numbers that multiply to five. What numbers are those? Like one, and five. one and five are the only numbers that multiply to five, because five is prime. But I also need to know numbers that multiply to eight. Is it always going to be a prime number first? Uh, no, it will not always be a prime number first. This one just happens. All right, so there are a couple suggestions, 1 and 8, 2 and 4. We can try 1 and 8, but when I do the cross multiplication, 5 times 1 is 5, and 1 times 8 is 8. Is 5 plus 8 going to get me 14? No, it's 13. It's close, but it's not quite right. So we can't do 1 and 8 like that. What was the other suggestion? 4 and 2. Okay, you said 4 and 2. So I'm going to put 4 up here and 2 down here. When I do this multiplication, though, 5 gets multiplied by 4, and that'll get me what? 20. 20. 1 gets multiplied by 2 to get? And that would make? Okay, so it's not 4 and 2. Flip it. All right. Let's try flipping it. Instead of 4 and 2, let's try 2 and 4. What is 5 times 2? 10. 10. And 1 times 4 is? 4, 10 plus 4 will make what? 14. Is that what I needed? Is that what I needed? Yeah, that's what I needed. All right, so I went through the first ones rather fast because those don't work, and I knew they weren't going to work. So I went through them quickly. This is the only combination that is actually going to get you the 14 that is in the middle. So you're going to have to play around with it. I'm going to show you another way where you can write down the guesses that you do. And that way you know which ones you've already tried, because sometimes you might have to try multiple guesses on the next problem. So uh, these are the numbers that work. What are the factors going to be? Uh, what? 1m uh, plus 2. Plus two. Oh, all right. so I didn't and? Know. I thought you connected with the 4 and did it on the top one. Right. We want to do the same things on the same line. This is one of the factors. This is the other factor right there. These are both positive. Are there any questions on how that works? How I sort of guessed and I checked and see if it worked and it didn't, so I tried again, guess and I check and it didn't work, and I try again, and then I guess and I check and it does work, then I write down the answer. Are there any questions about what I did? So is this like 11 then all right, uh, which number are you talking about? Number four. This one right here is very similar. We still have 1 and 5 here with the ends. Now, we are trying to make 11 in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and try, well, 1 and 2 to make 2, right? But when I do my cross multiplication, what is 5 times 1? Why did you want 1 and 2? To make 2, right there. Right? 1 oh, times 2 yeah, is 2. Yeah, that's correct, that's correct. And then 1 times 2 is 2. What do those things add to? Uh, they add to 7. So is that going to work? No. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there just because I like to you know, know what I've already tried, and I might try something else, 1n and 5n. And then instead of 1 and 2, I'm going to go ahead and switch these up and make it 2 and 1. Let's try this cross multiplication. 5 times 2 is 10, right? 1 times 1 is 1. And what do those add to? 11. So that works. Once I find a set that works, all I have to do is write down the factored version. So what is the answer? And? Plus 1. So this is the factored version of that. So I tried it up here. It didn't work. I tried something else down here. Sometimes you might have to go through multiple trials until you get the right answer. But this is a pretty easy way to guess and check. Are there any questions about what we did here? All right, let's go ahead and flip this over onto the back side. I'm going to do one that has like a non-prime first number just because that will make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, this one looks nice and hard. Number 14. <coughs> we might have to try a lot of different things. Four, for instance. What multiplies together to get four? Two and two. That is one option that you could use. The other option you could use is 1 and 4. And I don't know which way it's going to work. So I'm going to start with 2 and 2, and let's just hope it works out. 
So I got 45 over there. What's going to make 45? Uh, 9 and 5. 9 and 5? If you were here when I taught the other method in my other class, by all means use that method. I don't care. Okay? So 9 and 5. I'm trying to make what? 28. 28. When I do the cross multiplication here, by the way, these have X's on them, that is 9, or sorry, 18. 5 times 2 is 10, and that's going to make 28. But is that the number in the middle? It needs to add to a negative 28. If I make the 9 negative, that'll make this a negative 18, which will then not be 28 anymore. It also multiplied to a negative 45 instead of a positive 45. Both of them negative. If I make them both negative, that'll make this a negative 10, which will make that add to a negative 28. Negative 9 times negative 5 is positive 45, so it'll still work. So does this work? Does it meet the conditions? Multiplies to that and adds to the middle term? Say yes, people. Yes. Yes. All right, so what's the factor going to be? 2x minus 9. And this is the factored version. Now, we got that right on pretty much the first try. We had to mess with the signs a little bit, but we got the right numbers there. It didn't require a lot of trial and error. Now, 4 could have been written as 1 and 4. Not, uh, 45 could have been 3 and 15, 1 and 45. There's lots of combinations that could have happened. Are there any questions about this method? All right. Uh, you have a whole page. Work on that right now. Let me know if you have any questions while you're working on it.